My name is Sharon. I'm with the Palumas County Library. Today we're going to make rain clouds. So we're going to get a nice big container. You can use a smaller one if you need to, but we have a nice big container so you can see it. We're going to fill it with water. This is with not hot water, but it's tepid water. And you can experiment to see how it goes if you use hot water, cold water, ice water even. We're going to make some rain clouds with shaving cream and then we're going to use our rain as food coloring. So this is our atmosphere, our air. This is going to be our clouds. So we're going to try to do a couple different things. So I'm going to spray the clouds on top of here. Oh. Okay, so we got some clouds going. Now, when Rain clouds form. It's the moisture in the air that's going up. And as the clouds get heavier and heavier with moisture, we're going to demonstrate that with our food coloring, the cloud eventually starts to rain. And the moisture starts falling down through the cloud. You see how it's raining through already? So all the different moisture as it builds up into the cloud and it gets too heavy for the cloud to hold anymore, then it's got to go somewhere, so then it starts to rain. So the molecules in cold water, they're going to move a little slower in warm water. Can you predict? Will they move faster? Will they blend easier? You can make all sorts of different predictions with this experiment. So try it with warm water, cold water maybe even lots of thick shaving cream for your clouds and see how long it takes, how much rain it can really hold, and then watch it rain down. So have fun trying this experiment at home.